been a horrific scenes today. In Menindee, um, we just blow main weir for probably 20 k's down. It's just fish, uh, fish from one side of the river to the other. It's quite devastating uh, out there at the moment. Um, we've been sort of keeping an eye on this over the last couple of months, really. For the residents of Menindee in New South Wales, it's been a devastating past week. Millions of dead fish have filled the Darling River. The fish are dying. It's smelt rotten and stink. It's putrid and it's so disgusting. It feels like when they get sick, and it's the smell that makes you sick in your tummy. It's pretty hard to comprehend, really. You're smelling this putrid smell. and It's, it's a terrible smell and, and horrible to see all those dead fish. Experts say it's because of something called hypoxic black water, caused by receding floodwaters and a recent heat wave that has caused the spread of bacteria which has taken all of the oxygen out of the water, something fish need to survive. It'd have to be a million fish dead within, what, a kilometre of the river. It's not pleasant. It's a shame the camera can't pick up on the smell. It's actually not the first time this has happened. Most recently, in 2018 and 2019, the area was going through a massive drought, which caused a similar thing to happen. It's just staggering. Compared to 1819, you think you could never see anything like that again, and we've, we've eclipsed that this time. It's not just the awful sight and smell that people have to deal with. Many rely on the river for their household water. There's plenty of people along here that actually don't have the bore water. Um, and they rely on this water for everything in their house. Washing, showering. How would you like to shower in that water at the moment? Ooh. Other than rainwater, we 100% rely on that river for our household domestic use. There are also concerns about the impact this will have on the area. The Darling River is part of the Murray-Darling system, which stretches all the way from Queensland down to South Australia and Victoria. It's really important to agriculture in Australia. And there are lots of farmers who rely on the river to irrigate their properties. We do have some concerns with that volume of fish um, sinking to the bottom of the river that it might actually uh, you know, negatively impact water quality even further uh, by, sort of, um, by sucking more and more oxygen out of the water. Experts say it could take years for the river and the species that call it home to recover, and that more needs to be done to prevent this sort of thing from happening again, like restricting how much water can be taken out of the Murray-Darling system and making sure the river flow doesn't get too low. Meanwhile, authorities have begun a clean-up operation and say they'll be trucking in fresh water, something residents say should have been done sooner to keep this river healthy for all those that depend on it. They're trying to move all the fish out and I don't think there's anything else being done about it. They're trying to wash the fish out downstream. As soon as they've seen what was happening, they should have had that equipment here. They should have already been cleaning this out.